Hi guys, welcome to another Angular 8 video tutorial for absolute beginners by Tech Tech Tuts in 2019. And in today's video tutorial, we will learn that how to create dynamic routing and navigation inside Angular 8. So without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. In the last part, we learned that how to create routing and we create these three different routes with the three different components. So whenever we click on any component it updates the URL as well as it change the content of the component here or router outlet area depending on the link which you have clicked so these three links are called static links or they are also called without any additional parameters so they cannot fetch or show dynamic data so to show dynamic data on each click or in every link you will have a different information for that we need to create a dynamic routing so let's see how can we create a dynamic routing if you remember i have created a video tutorial where i show you how to create a service and with the help of server service i showed you that how can we get the data from a remote api in our case we used json placeholder as our api and we fetched the data from the server of the posts and then we show it on the app component if i take you to the vs code and there i have show you a component uh, area this area i commented it out so if i uncomment this area and i will cut, cut it from here and post it under router outlet so that you can see out, router outlet as well so i paste it here after that if you see the browser you will see we have different posts with their id title and content i didn't show the id here so i can simply say it like this so now we have id title and content now in this video tutorial what we are going to do we create each title a link and then when we click on each title it will show us a single post corresponding to that particular detail or post and here it will show where we are seeing that home works it will be shown here so we need to create another component then we need to create a dynamic link with each of this title and after that we click the title and it will load that particular component and then we will fetch the corresponding data so let's see how can we do it first of all we need to generate a component so I will use the built-in terminal of VS code and then simply type ng generate component or I can simply say ng, ng generate c and then I will name it post so it will show a single post so we have created post component here and if I simply go to app dot module.ts file and here if I create a new route path is post and component post component so that's it after that I will go to app component.html and where we have created the links I will simply copy about link and paste it below and I will just call it post and here I will simply say post right so when I click now the post link it will say post work but what I want to do I don't need a post link here I want to make this post link work with every title so whenever I click any title it will show me the corresponding post details with their title and content of course so for that what I need to do next I need to make it a dynamic component so I don't need it here actually I need it with this title this title so in this i will simply within h4 i create an href i cut it here and then i paste it here rather than href i will use router link is equal to slash post slash 
and then I will say post dot ID so this is what I am going to do here so now if you see all of our titles have got linked and if I mouse over it you will see in the below bottom right uh, bottom left side that every URL is showing differently you see but as I didn't create the route dynamic I mean the routes we create in app module I didn't make it dynamic so it is not showing the data so I will to make it dynamic just put a slash forward slash and then call in and then give it any ID name whatever you want to give it I will simply call it post underscore ID so now it will be post underscore ID route so if I go back again and now if I click any it will say post works it will say post work with every link it is saying that post works of course that is pretty fine and this is what it is doing now so the next step what I need to do is I need to fetch the ID or post ID which I passed in every title I need to fetch it inside post component and then using the service I need to generate a new single post so this one is get posts so almost it will be same except it will receive an ID which we will pass here post slash plus ID so that's it and it's asking me to put a space so this is it this is our ID so it's asking me is it any so I'm telling it it can be any so normally I know that it's ID so what else it is complaining about name so uh, get post it is not get post it is get post so it's done we have created a new method so we will use this method to fetch all the data for, uh, from the corresponding ID okay so now I will go to my post component inside post component I will go to post component.ts and here first thing I need to import from the router activated route so it will detect the activated route from angular slash router that's it we have used activated route so I say it's declared but its values never read so I will inside the constructor I will create a private variable and I will call it underscore route colon activated route so now I am using it here but it's again saying I created the underscore route but I am not using it yet so no problem I am going to use it so the second thing I need to pass here is HTTP so private underscore HTTP colon and then our service name is post service post service so it is activated activated route okay so this is activated route so post service is also imported from the app component and now what I need to do here the same code which I used in app component.ts file API post subscribe data and then I will post this to posts so this dot post any null I will copy this one and inside over post component dot ts file I will create this variable here so it is a single post so I just simply say post and after that I will again copy from the app component dot ts file this data get post and paste it inside over ng on init method so when this function is initialized it will so it is http underscore http get the post and here I need to now pass the ID so how do I get the ID first so first I need to get the ID right so here I will do this dot underscore route dot param map dot subscribe and pram then I will do here and I will uh, pass here rather than passing it here let's run it inside this so I will do here pram 
dot get into id so this is what i do this route pram map dot subscribe so this is a promise based route so pram and then pram dot get id subscribe data this dot post is equal to data so i am using this dot http service here and then i am using get post so it is saying and now it's fine i will close it once and then open it again and everything will be working again so everything is working fine right so now this post data will be shown in the front end but first what i need to do is i will go to post component dot html and then i will simply say post json save it and then i will go to browser and now the when the post loads it's saying here null whatever i click is updating the route but it is saying null so let me see why it is saying null so we go to post component dot ts file so rather than passing it back to uh, this dot post data i will do console dot the data simple is that so now i will insp do inspect element and i will go into console tab and then i will close it so it will reload again so now i have object here you see we have error and it is saying that function object uh, json post underscore null okay okay so it is saying that underscore this dot underscore http post service and inside over post dot service dot ts file we have return api dot get posts yeah, that's fine so it's passing null so that is why it's not getting so it is saying activated route variable it must be in lower camel pascal or uppercase variable name so this is and it is saying it must be like this because that's just a warning Pascal case or upper case. So I will do it like this. And then I will dot HTTP. So now let's see. So it's saying 404 not found a URL. Okay, let me see. It's saying that it is null. So it means this spam is not getting the ID. This route activated route dot pram map dot subscribe and then we will have a pram and let me test it console dot dot pram. So let's see what it shows in the pram. So it is a prime object post underscore ID. Okay. So this one is i forgot i just put id so it is post underscore id so this is it now i think it will work properly and will show over you see now body id title we have seen user id as well so that's fine now we can say this dot post is equal to simply data now if i reload it here we go we see the data now so it is a single object so of course we can simply do it like this so inside post component dot html we create an h2 and then post dot title and p post dot content that's it so we have done over we have done created over dynamic routing so let's see there is again showing some fancy error so it's saying tag p it may contain when the tag has already been closed by another tag okay so 
this one is not needed here anymore so we can put a div here so save it and now let's go to so here we go we have got the I think it's not content it's body I think yeah now it's fine so we click on any post you will see this post will be updated here so this is now we have created dynamic routing and dynamic navigation so whatever you click it will show here that data so this is how we create dynamic navigation and routing inside angular 8